as I mentioned it, using a drug or drugs for a long time changes the brain. I want to highlight one of aspect of this, tolerance. Tolerance can develop quite quickly for drugs like alcohol. Tolerance means that we need to have more of the same drug to get the same effect. The brain does not like to be overstimulated, so it adapts. It can, for example, reduce the number of receptors that the neurotransmitters bind to or make them less sensitive to stimulation. The problem is that this changes normal functioning of the brain. Experiences that may have been pleasurable before do not have the same effect anymore. When a person stops taking the drug, this unbalance is revealed. People show withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal symptoms and its immediate cure following drug readministration play an important role in maintaining drug use. In general, withdrawal symptoms are opposite to the direct effects of the drug and hence are usually unpleasant but not life-threatening. However, in some cases they can be dangerous. When a person has been using high levels of alcohol for an extended period of time, the brain adapts. It adapts to counter the continuing depressing effect of alcohol. But when you suddenly stop using alcohol, the brain can show hyperexcitability. In some cases, this can lead to a medical emergency. This is why it is important to assess the extent of someone's use and dependence and be mindful of unintended withdrawal, for example, during hospitals, admission or prisons. We will look in detail at how to assess someone's level of dependence uh, in week two.